entry this week into Israeli politics of media celebrity Yair Lapid is of significance not only politically, but potentially also culturally for the evolution of a healthier and more integrated Israeli identity and society. Uh, in some ways, Yair Lapid is a continuation of his late father, Tommy Lapid, who was the head of the anti-ultra-Orthodox party, Shinui. And in other ways, Yair is a significant departure from his father's politics and cultural attitudes. What he learned from his father, a Holocaust survivor, was first of all a fierce Israeli patriotism, a deep need to protect Israeli society from both those externally who would harm it and those internally who undermine its cohesion, in particular, the ultra-Orthodox. In other ways, Yair Lapid is a significant and, and positive departure from his father. First of all, he appears not to share his father's deep antipathy, in fact, one could even say hatred, for the ultra-Orthodox. Yair Lapid has, in the last few years, been reaching out to the ultra-Orthodox, trying to engage elements of the ultra-Orthodox in conversation, and his vision is not the exclusion that Tommy Lapid conveyed, but rather the opposite of trying to integrate the ultra-Orthodox more and more into the Israeli mainstream. And in another way, uh, Yair Lapid is also a significant departure from his father, and that is in Yair's openness to Judaism. Yair appears to be eager to incorporate elements of Jewish culture into his secular Israeli identity, and in that sense he represents a significant movement among secular Israelis today who are searching for a way to reconnect to their Jewish identity, without undermining, without weakening their modern secular identity. The more that Yair Lapid is able to convey that vision of a secular Israeli identity, the more that he's able to convey his goal of integrating the ultra-Orthodox into the mainstream rather than either secluding them or radically changing them religiously and culturally, the more he will be able to be a healing figure rather than a divisive figure. Put another way, the vision that many of us in Israel share is of an, is of an Israel that has less Judaism officially, less Judaism on the governmental coercive level, and more Judaism voluntarily on the social level. If Yair Lapid can articulate that vision of Israel, he will bring us closer to the kind of Israel that so many of us long for.